Well, uh, that's some insane uh, thrust numbers for this motor. It tore 2700 kV from the YS. Starting with the 5045 uh, BN prop. Uh, I don't know if anybody uses this one. I just keep testing it. It just gives a good idea as to what a two blade prop can do. I've I've ordered the Dow two blade uh, Cyclone 5050. So I'll probably be dropping this one and adding the Cyclone in the future. So once I get it from uh, Surveil Sun, it'll be a few weeks before I get it. So 1582 for the two blade prop. The most popular is the 5040 by 3, 1663. Pretty high. That's uh, this is this is one of the highest uh, thrust motors I've tested so far. Uh, the other one being the RC in power. Uh, all across is just really high numbers. Uh, of course, the, uh, the amps are really high. Uh, again, right here they're uh, they're gonna be super exaggerated here with, uh, on the static thrust in the quad. Once you're flying, of course, is you're not gonna be anywhere near this uh, because the, your battery is gonna limit the amount of amps that uh, it can deliver. You know. But right here uh, on the static thrust, uh, what we do is we test the capability of the motor uh, to see how much power it can make uh, given the same conditions for all motors. Then we can compare them, uh, compare one motor to the other. We keep the voltage the same, uh, using the same propellers and hopefully the same uh, atmospherics, same weather. Then we can see which motor it has more capability than the other. So anyway, uh, some outstanding numbers here with the Cyclone 5046, uh, 1800 grams. And then onto the 6 inch props, uh, it broke the 2 kilogram mark. This is the one other motor that uh, has done that uh, RC in power. I think this is the second one. So pretty insane numbers. You're going to have to have a really good battery for this motor. So that's it. That's the numbers. Uh, should bring a lot of smiles to people's faces with when you you fly this or panic. Anyway, until the next video, thanks for watching.